Our friends over at Super Cheap Auto have asked us to build them a race car. Did I say race car? I meant race cart. Today on the Skid Factory, we're going from big blocks and superchargers to no blocks and gravity. Welcome back to the Skid Factory. If you're not familiar with the Red Bull Billy Cart Race, try saying it fast three times for a start because it's really hard to say. But it's actually just an annual billy cart race uh, in various cities around the world. And this year it is in Melbourne, in, uh, I think it's in St Kilda or thereabouts. Obviously on a hill somewhere and we're going to go and race it. We have no idea how to build a billy cart. I probably did build one when I was a kid, but it probably made out of bits of wood and mower wheels. Uh, this one's not going to be quite that primitive. but we still don't really know what to do. We have enlisted the help of Matt, our mate, who is a sheet metal worker slash male model slash international superstar. He also has no idea how to build a billy cart, but he does have a computer and some CAD and stuff. So we've drawn some pretty pictures and we're gonna copy that. And hopefully it will go down the hill and go fast and Woody won't die. This year, Super Cheap Auto are a partner of the Red Bull Billy Cart Race, and our objective is to build something cool to represent Super Cheap Auto. We've tossed up a few ideas. We had a bit of a toolbox idea with some wheels, maybe a toolbox train, maybe a replica V8 supercar, but apparently that's being done by someone else. So what we've come up with is basically an upscaled engine. The original design was a V8, but it's probably gonna end up being like a V16 or something? What do you reckon, Al? It's, like, it's basically a real size tank. It depends tank. on how many exhaust pipes hang out the side. Basically a real size tank engine. So this is a general gist of what it's gonna be and I'm gonna be the driver sitting in the center. And Woody's head's gonna be the carburetor. Why carbies? What can because I Because carbies are cool. Can I dress up as a fuel injector? Can we put <laughs> trumpets on your head? Yeah, sure. <laughs> If you're familiar with the Red Bull Billy Cart Race, you'll know most of the time competitors end up either crashing or breaking their carts after getting air over a jump. To avoid bending the chassis and smashing into a wall, we're using aluminium box which is 2mm thick to maximise the strength and also keep the weight down. The side panels are also 2mm thick that Matt has already bent into shape. Once the front and rear panels are cut out and cleaned up, we can tack weld the pieces together, forming a complete structure which can be welded to our chassis. A critical part of the build is the steering, which is a common failure point on many billy cars. We're not taking any chances, so we're using heavy duty roller bearings that are pressed onto the front forks and supported by some custom aluminium housings. Using the lathe, Al machines up the housings which can then be welded onto the front axle. Special stage vehicle. 
Letting a steering wheel? I thought you were supposed to be a carby. No, you steer it with your feet. What? What does a carby <laughs> make? <laughs> Backfiring noises and disappointment. <laughs> Here's where we're up to with the billy cart build. We've got the entire sort of shell of it welded on all the joins and stitched along all the uh, frame parts. So that's sort of ready to go. I've started cutting lots of holes in it and, and dimple dyeing them mainly just to, as weight saving and just some style points and yeah. maybe a bit of airflow for Woody when he's flying down the mountain. This is the front axle assembly with the pieces that we uh, machined in the lathe welded on. These are the wheels and forks that I've got. They're just basically, I call them bowl bikes, like a bike that you jump in and out of a skate bowl. So they're pretty strong, big tire. Um, we have a, a design rule. There's very few rules as far as design goes, but they, they have a couple of basic ones. One of them is 16 inch wheels minimum size. So we've gone with the minimum size. I'm using forks. Well, we're using forks because all the videos I watched of crashes, which is the only research we've really done, the wheels always fall off because people don't use forks. They use a normal bike uh, wheel and just put a bolt through it. And it just doesn't really work that way. A, um, a single single sided wheel is a different design. So we've got forks, we've got bearings, we've got the pivot housings here. Now we just got to connect this to the front and we've got Obviously the back wheels are just dead, they just roll along, so we're going to connect them in a different style on the back. And then start working on a spot to stick Woody. Is it going to be stanced out? Yeah, it's gonna scrub the silks. <laughs> The rear wheels on the billy cart are going to be in a fixed forward position. The forks are welded to some steel which is then bolted through the aluminium frame. Oh, so that can affect, that's the caster adjustment. There, yeah, right. Yeah. I'd call it rake. Rake? Rake More adjustment. Caster, caster, but like that. Some expeditious arithmetic is used to calculate the correct length required for the steering arms. These are then bolted onto the forks which will then be connected to a steering rack that's being mounted on the inside of the cart. Okay. Rack goes out, rack goes in. Rack goes out, rack goes in. Rack goes out.
job shot. Give me 50 bucks and I'll put it on. Dude, your belly button will be hanging out legit like that. I am. I'm slim, bro. Some aluminium bar is being used as our steering rack ends, which is tapped to accept an 8x1.25 thread. Some small heim joints acting as tie rod ends are then bolted onto the steering arms. <laughs> Next up is to mount our BR1DE Max Low Bucket Seat. It's previously lived a smelly life, retaining sweaty butts in an old JDM Ferrari, but will now live on to compete in the world's biggest billy cart race. I'm worried about visibility though, that's all. Can't really. I can see your... I can see your knees from here. <laughs> Can we cut this out here or not? It's fine. You, you can't see a thing! <laughs> see the steering rack, what are you talking about? <laughs> Perfectly fine. What point of view? Can I cut a hole there so you look through? Yeah, cut a hole right here. Yeah. Is that going to weaken that though or not? Probably. With the seating position sorted, we can move on to fitting the steering wheel and support bar. We had this old uni joint laying around, which was from a super old and super rare Nissan. It happened to have the correct spline for our go-kart rack, so it was upcycled and welded to our steering column. Too heavy. <laughs> it's gonna be like 400 kilos with you in it. What? <laughs> ba da da da. We've got to jump it to test it that the wheels aren't gonna flap in like <laughs> everyone else's does. We'll raise it on the hoist and drop it from a height. <laughs> It'll just drop you off from a height. Yeah, that won't work. You'll I'm have to saving be, my spine for the You'll race. have to be sitting in it because that extra 300 kilos is going to make a difference. Not that fat, bro. Come on. We have our Billy Cart Instagram ready. It uh, looks like something but doesn't actually work. So that's, uh, if you, if you want to refer to that term, Instagram ready, that's what it means. It's similar to SEMA ready, but uh, you're not at a car show. Uh, we've got steering that works. Still has to be finalised. We've got our rack that is the finest of eBay. It has loosened itself up just in the time that it's been bolted to the car. So hopefully that makes it through the downhill run for Woody's sake. The seat is all mounted up. It's a pretty nice looking Brite Romax that Woody pulled out of his MR2. Uh, it's haggard, it's full of 
ball stains and stuff, so it's probably going to be going on eBay afterwards for two to three thousand dollars if you're interested. We've got an OMP steering wheel on there that Woody pulled out of some other car that he bought. It's red with a line on it, so it's for a professional drifter steering wheel. Uh, it's all mounted with a lot of aluminium welded together. We do need to change this back suspension setup. Uh, it is a bit bouncy and we'll probably just stand the forks up because that's probably the way they're meant to be anyway. Uh, the other reason is because it's getting a little bit tubby. We've got an 80 kilogram weight limit and we just weighed it before and it's at 64 kilograms as it is. And we've still got stuff that, we, that needs to go on the outside. Uh, so obviously the steel is probably the first place to start because it's the he much heavier than aluminium. And most of the aluminium is just sheet anyway. So each hole that I drill whilst satisfying doesn't really take much weight out of it. We've still got a bunch to do. We'll finish off the welding and other stuff on the steering, remount this back, these back wheels. Uh, and we've also got to just finish it off aesthetically. We've got to make it look more like an engine. So there'll be pipes and valve covers and air filters and stuff like that. That'll be next episode. And also in next episode, we will show you the actual race. Uh, it is in Lansdowne Street in Melbourne. So um, tune in for that one. We're going to be racing the billy cart at Lansdowne Street and Treasury Gardens in Melbourne, Victoria, this Saturday, the 3rd of December. Gates open at 11 o'clock. It's going to be an awesome event. There's 59 other teams that are going to be racing down the street. There's jumps, kickers. There may be a half pipe. I don't know what's in store, but it's going to be awesome. If you can't make it to the event, make sure you tune in next episode to see us finish the cart off and race it. We actually haven't even come up with a name to this thing yet either, so comment below what you think we should name it. Thanks again to Super Cheap Auto for enlisting us to build such an awesome machine. I'm excited to race it. I'm also very scared to race it, seeing as there is some jumps and I've already got a bad back, but we'll address that when it comes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time or, or we'll see you guys on track in Melbourne. Very good. This episode is going to be Romax. It's Lomax. Romax. Brute. Brute Romax. <laughs> you look like. <laughs> look out, Mitchie. Coming for you, bro. <laughs> Mitchie. <laughs> Bulking. Come make you clean my car. He was Jack, bro. <laughs> Yellow is such a weird colour. Have you seen my car? It's over there. That shirt on. I feel like I'm hanging on a clothesline. You look like a 12 year old kid or something. <laughs> That's just grown out of his clothes where he stood to steal his favourite shirt. Why are you walking like that? Because <laughs> my arms don't work anymore. Righto. Circulation's getting cut off.